maximum permissible bank balance as per tandan committee report so the question says that to compute mpbf as per tandan committee report under three methods first method second method and third method using three methods we are required to make the calculation i request all of you to go through the question please let us have understanding of a new concept the new concept is like this dear students we know that there are number of loan proposals which bank received these loan proposals include <coughs> loan for let us say housing property then loan for commercial property then loan for let us personal loan and so on there are number of types of loan for which a bank is being approached now from all of them one of the type of loan to which the bank is being approached is working capital loan we understand that say a bank is being approached for the different loans and one of them is working capital loan so how much working capital finance a bank should give for that say we are having a concept called maximum permissible bank finance from time to time reserve bank of india is appointing the committees of the expert who will determine that say what is the amount of the loan that bank should give say to the companies or to any of the borrower may it be for the housing purpose may it be for the commercial property and so on what amount of the margin that you are supposed to keep at least then um, what are the terms and conditions what is the tenure for which you can give the loan and so on so reserve bank of india had appointed say a committee that was given a name as a uh, tandan committee it was say formed under head of say mr p l tandan and uh, so the recommendation of mr p l tandan that is tandan committee report was accepted by reserve bank of india and as per that so the maximum permissible bank finance is say decided see as the name is there similarly over here the things are like this only we are going to understand what is the maximum loan that a bank can give say to any of the company for the purpose of working capital there are three methods say which have been suggested method number 1 method number 2 and method number 3 so i am going to discuss with you first of all before we write answer that say what is the maximum permissible bank finance that say the bank can give to any of the company for the purpose of working capital finance the question is providing the information that is a required details the amount of the current assets the amount of the current liabilities this is important other than the bank borrowing because basically in order to determine that what amount of the bank loan that say the bank should give to any of the company we have to uh, focus that say we have to consider what is the current liabilities other than the bank loan and there is a term which is given a name as the core current assets sir what do we understand with the, ter the with the term core current assets i give explanation of the same see on x axis i am taking the time period and on y axis i am taking the current assets uh 
uh, basically something like this happens the current assets of the company will keep on fluctuating like this so what happens at say the current assets of the company is never falling below a certain point and that is given a name as core current assets the to the term core current assets means the amount of the current assets of the company which remains in the business forever that is given a name as the core current assets how it is going to be used for the purpose of determining the working capital finance that is what say now we are going to discuss i request all of you to pay attention do not write anything method number 1 then 2 then 3 there are three methods in which maximum permissible bank balance see in the first method so they have an argument like this listen carefully what is the amount of the current assets of the company it is 10 lakhs what is the amount of the current liability it is 1 lakh see you require 10 lakh rupees of the financing in the business that is 10 lakh rupees is required to be invested yes out of that say the 1 lakh rupees what you are able to get within the business only because current liability means a kind of financing that you have so it is 10 minus 1 you have basically an amount of rupees 9 lakhs of the investment in the business whatever this 9 lakh rupees of the working capital that you require of that 75% we are ready to lend and 25% you manage on your own so 10 minus 1 is 9 9 lakhs into 75 percentage that comes to 6 lakhs 75 thousand this is the way maximum permissible bank finance is calculated i request all of you to pay attention don't write anything then in the second method mpbf this like the concept says that you manage 25% of the current assets on your own see earlier you had to manage 25% of the working capital now you have to manage 25% of the current assets so 0.75 into 10 lakhs that is 7 lakh 50000 minus current liability so 0.75 into 10 that comes to 7 lakh 50000 minus 1 that comes to 6 lakh 50000 so that is a way we'll make the calculation that say this is the maximum loan that say the company that is bank should give to a company that is so the maximum permissible bank finance say in the second method usually not precisely usually initially when a company is doing business then for approximately first 5 years the loan should be given like this approximately for the first 5 years the loan should be given like this for the next 5 years the loan should be given like this approximately after 10 years the loan should be given say in this way it is current assets minus core current assets tell the company that you manage the core current assets on your own now it has been approximately 10 years that you are doing business so now please don't approach us for the long term investment that say you are going to make in the business every time because your current assets level is never falling below certain limit so this much you finance on your own so it is current assets minus core current assets that is over here 10 lakhs minus 2 lakhs that comes to 8 lakhs 75% of the same in a way that said uh, again 25% you manage on your own 10 minus 2 so 8 lakhs into 0.75 so it comes to 6 lakhs within the business again you have the current liability how much 1 lakh so again the current liability is a source of the financing that you already have from the business so we will give you the bank loan up to 5 lakhs this is what the concept says 
so initially for the first five years we can say or three to five years the bank loan should be given maximum in this situation six lakh seventy five thousand if at all the company has the same situation for the next five years the bank loan should be given of six lakh fifty thousand and after ten years the bank loan should be given for an amount of five lakhs this is what says the kind of so the explanation that say they have given for maximum permissible bank balance so the amount of the bank loan should be determined like this uh, so first of all i'm dictating a note to you before we write answer heading write down mpbf maximum permissible bank finance in the right down first point in order to determine amount of mpbf comma we have to follow guidelines of tandon committee second point as per tendon committee report mpbf maximum permissible in bank finance should be determined as under for working capital finance so in the pattern method and mpbf method number 1 it is 0.75 of current assets minus current liabilities method number 2 75% of current assets minus current liabilities method number 3 current assets minus core current assets into 0.75 minus current liabilities third point core current assets means amount of current assets which is required in the business for ever full stop the right down in first method the company should
फाइनेंस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वर्किंग कैपिटल ऑन इट्स ओन फुल स्टॉप इन सेकेंड मेथड द कंपनी शुड फाइनेंस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ करंट असेट्स ऑन इट्स ओन फुल स्टॉप इन थर्ड मैथड the company should finance 25% of current assets other than core current assets and entire core current assets on its own full stop now right on heading calculation of mpbf calculation of mpbf I request you to write an answer. 